Hey everyone, Shed Virtuality here, and we are back in some more Pascal's Wager in 2022. Uh, where we left off, we had just finished off... Uh, you know what? And now I'm going to forget entirely where we were at before. We had just finished off Edith. Uh, we got down to the shoreline, which was unlockable once you finished off the boss in that area. And now we are on our way to the Blessed Land. So I've already done my altar bits. Uh, we boosted up our stats a couple levels. And I wanted to just hit the ground running. But we have a cart full of people that we need to talk to. So let's start the episode off by cracking wise with the crew. When we arrived at the Blessed Land, Stay with Glenn in the carriage. There's no need for you to get involved. After all, you're not the main character here. I'm not going to sit and wait for the results. <laughs> Why? You have all the other times. <laughs> whatever happens, I need you to stay alive. Stay alive for whatever may occur. Of course I want a life, but I don't want to watch you die in front of me. Is this the only way? Well, as long as you live, then you can come and watch me die over and over and over again. Yeah, that's fine. No. No. You actually said something. I thought you were just going to leave it be. Terence, you should know that there is no way back for Teresa. But there is one for you. No, there must be a way back for my wife. I must stay with her. For she is my wife. But... Do you really believe you can change your mind? Of course I can, because she's my wife. I don't know. I have to try. Do or do not. There is no try. What if you fail? What if we all fail? Oh, this is what you don't respond to. Well, what if I fail? Well, the world will become, you know, um, darkened by the Mar, and the Colossus will all... Proceed to the graveyard, and humanity will just cease to exist. That's what will happen if we fail. Aren't you glad you asked now? <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> Did we pick up any contract bits for you? Not enough. Not enough to crack the entire code. But I found this broken slate. This should be the last missing piece. What's engraved on the bracelet? Tell us. Birth of the celebration of the flame. The warmth from the bottom of my heart. The eternal light. The eternal light, eh? It seems this blessing was sent to you, and that person has never forgotten you. Under the light of the blessed land, it will not dispel the haze in my heart. All the effort will eventually be paid off in full. Including your own heart. But it means nothing when a world is coming to an end. Boo -hoo. We have more items for Viola to trade with. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Uh, so these were 20. Okay, so. Uh, not. Deal a great amount of damage to yourself upon attacking enemies. That doesn't sound very nice. Uh, but that is the last one that we can get from Viola. So, uh, grant, uh, attack increase when... Yeah, I think I got something else that has golden text of... Um, Increases attack when uh, health is lower than 50%. So yeah, we'll have to come back and make a decision on which of these we want to sort of purchase from her. Uh, and we still got some, uh, um, what is it, hedgies that we can collect Dominator Crystals off of, so uh, we're not in too much of a rush. Uh, but this is her maxed out inventory, so uh, we'll have to see which one. 
uh, upon yourself upon attacking enemies. Jeez. Yeah, I don't want to damage myself, even though, like, getting all those stats is pretty cool. Uh, but we'll leave it be for now. Okay, thanks, Viola. Since you've met me before, or recently, uh, you're not making much sense. <sighs> well, at least it's not just an ellipses. And I always question the god. Why does he lead everyone to adversities? I don't know. He won't answer you. Because he doesn't give a damn about anyone. He enjoys our suffering. Well, he enjoys my suffering. The suffering will lend. No matter what will Teresa become, I will be with her through thick and thin. Through the good times and the bad, you and Teresa will be there. Alright. Now, did we complete any more of your contract? Have you found a new Argyll? Have you found a new Argyll? Sorry, no new Argyll from me. So, I guess we did not. And lastly, Norwood. You don't look like a man who is going to meet his wife. What do you want to tell her? Have you thought about that? Uh, no, not one iota. I do not think. Therefore, I do not am. It's none of your business. Once we arrive in the Blessed Land, I don't want to see you again. But Terence, we've been through so much already! Terence, after everything we've been through, you still don't trust me. I just want to tell you, nobody can predict the future. But as long as you stick with your faith, there can be miracles. You just gotta believe. I can't believe these words are coming from your mouth. Well, they're coming from the mask's mouth. <laughs> it seems you know nothing about me. Trust me, carry on and don't give up. To my knowledge, giving up halfway always leads to terrible consequences. <laughs> giving up is never the answer. Quitters never win. All right, Narwood, did we complete your contract at all? How's everything? Did you find something interesting? Oh, I've found lots of interesting things. And I found some new ancient relics. The hatred of this arm has not been soothed. It has become stronger. If you get out of control, I won't go easy on you. <laughs> yes, I won't go easy on you. As I stare lovingly into your mask. Don't worry. Now it has become an authentic handy weapon. Hatred would only provide it with a steady stream of power. <laughs> I put on the mask of that guy and took everything back from him. It's been a long time since I felt that way. Hatred is the eternal light in this dark mist. And apparently Norwood has some new stuff. Uh, we'll take a quick look, but like I said, um, probably not going to be trading for anything. Because his prices are way too high for what we would be getting in relation. So we'll just leave him be. Rush over to Glenn. Glenn, I need your help. I may need your help. Not that you haven't been helping me this entire trip. My help? That's not included in our contract. Let's write a new contract. If something happens to me, I hope you can take Viola and leave. What makes her so important? Hey, Terrence. Don't make things so dark and gloomy. You know, I'm not that good at situations like these. Because emotions can't be measured with money. 
Don't get so dark and gloomy, you dark and gloomy guy, you. This land is guarded by four holy pillars and the formidable knights. How much chaos can the Demiurges make? Well, apparently, based on the last episode, they can uh, make quite a bit of chaos. But I have to prepare for the worst. How do you think I'm alive today? No one has a better understanding of Blessed Land than me. So if you want to live, take me with you. <sighs> yes, Glenn. You and me are like two peas in a pod. You can come with me anywhere. I forget what I said about being doom and gloomy. We'll ride off into the sunset together. Don't forget, you've yet to pay me what you owe. Don't ever think of running away like this. I don't approve. It's hard to imagine that one day the fate of Blast Land will fall into the hands of a courier. That mighty place, shrouded by light, the last refuge for mankind. Terence. You have once again confirmed the limits of bad luck. But sometimes chaos is not a bad thing. At least it can help make people see the truth. <laughs> chaos makes everything better. Of course. I don't care about that. For me, chaos will only bring more business opportunities. Phil, line my pockets with that sweet, sweet gold. Uh, okay, so... I don't think there's anything that we'll need to trade here. Because uh, most of this is just for crafting materials anyway. Okay. <clears throat> well, now that we have done that, let's get into our next objective. <clears throat> and that would be the Blessed Land. And while we had told Viola that she needs to wait at the carriage, we can also pick her our character. But you know what? I have still am beefing up Benita, so we'll keep using her as our, our side character. Glenn's leading the charge! here in the Blessed Land. I can't remember if this is the final area that we need to be at, but it is getting close to the end here, so let's venture. How has the light of the Holy Pillars become so weak? If it continues this way, this place will be devoured by the Sandrail. There's not much time left. Yeah. Everything's changed, and it's getting worse. <laughs> Isn't that what you just said? Yes, we must, we must make haste. Should have taken care of you. Korea, don't forget that your life already belongs to that Miyagis. So are they going to attack me or no? I don't care. And down you go. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah, the Knights of the Blessed Land and the Demiurge are 
We'll be battling throughout this level, and it doesn't seem like either party is going to be uh, happy that you're here. So, nope, can't be opened on this side. And we have ourselves a little altar that we can get to, so we're just going to get it open and continue on. Oh. Like I said, they'll carry on, do their, well, they'll do their thing. But we need to drop down here. Path is sort of linear for now. It'll open up pretty soon. Uh, but we need to go down here. And I don't think we can open this one either. Nope. But there's a Stifler right there. I talk to him. He'll have good stuff for us. No, we gotta go down here first. Didn't mean to stab at you. Uh, what do you want? Uh, you want? Yes, thank you. Jeez. Hungry much? There you go. crystal for us and then we got to well, go down this way yeah he's gonna see us anyway so A little out of control here. And he's looking right at us. No, he wasn't. Oh! I blown that up. the ability of doing that stuff to us. So let's just hopefully get rid of it. Ugh, there we go. Yeah, and let's hope that we get some more healing later on. For now, let's pick up what we can. Another Amundus crystal. Those will always be of use to us. Let's carry on. And then we'll have to go up these. We'll get to... <sighs> All right, fine. We'll... Sanity check and pick this up once everything's back to normal again. Alright, carrying on. I have a feeling that this is locked from the other side. Yep. I 
like I said, our path is pretty linear until we open a couple things up, which shouldn't take us too long. Missing anything? Ah, uh, flowers! I've already been, uh, sapped of my, uh, Sanity, I don't need to be doing this again. Just making sure that there's nothing else to pick up here. <clears throat> oh. We have. That's right, they're not paying attention to me right yet. guys up there that are taking pot shots at us. <clears throat> so let's get out of their range first uh, and then do this. Alright, this, uh, this area is, this level is going to get hairy enough as it is. I don't need to be losing sanity with every waking step. Continue to be insane through through this. Ah, oh, another Armandus crystal. All right, so we need to continue over this way, which will lead us down here. Uh, and this will lead us to one of our shortcuts for now. Night here. This is who we were seeing across from that altar point. And at least we could dispatch him. Okay. We have a central area That's here. That's the farthest we can go. <laughs> seen a real career. I've heard a lot of things about you. Bad things mostly. You know I am dying. Could I trouble you to help me one last time? You haven't troubled me to help you out a first time, but sure, why not? Yes, I will help you. Please kill me with the Divine Sword of the Proxy. That sword can dispel the curse of the Sandros. I've been contaminated. I don't want to be a monster. I don't want you to become a monster either. I will help you. The Divine Sword is worshipped at the altar in front of the Trinity Hall. 
You won't refuse a dying person, will you? No. Alright, so this is one of our sub-quests of finding the Holy Sword, or the Divine Sword, I guess as the game is calling it, uh, to put, um, put her out of her misery. Another item there. Oh, right, because... So let's take that. I actually didn't want to go this way quite yet. So let's backtrack a bit. Uh, just more scenery. I just want to see uh, we don't go down that way at all. I think we can go down that way. Yeah, there's a hedgey, but I'm going to hold off just for a moment. Because, like I said, it will benefit us greatly if we come down here and unlock this door. You know what? While we're here, we might as well hit the altar for our troubles. Whoa! <laughs> I saw that. So now at least we have our shortcut and can come and go to that altar as needed. But, like I said, we do have a little alternate path this way. So let's take it now uh, and get things done from this perspective. So we got this hedgy. Uh, oh good, Sandy. At the very least, if uh, <laughs> we get back to the altar, we can just re-save or re-rest. one of the towers. Okay, so we were on the opposite side there for a moment. Right, so we have to come down this ladder. And we can go down that way. Okay. So yes, let's do that. And now we're at one of the one of the four pillars. I forget, do we need a key to get into this door? Yes, we do. So we'll have to be back once that's picked up. Now, let's carry on this way because it's the only way we can go. Uh, we do have a chest, so let's pass this opportunity up. Let's run away from the treasure. Another crystal. So we're stocking up on crystals. Hopefully we can sort of get them taken care of from parents. Thank you, Mr. Siffler. I wanted that open as well. But he's running away from me. Oh, I didn't actually want to come down here again, uh, but I think we don't have any choice in the matter. Not 
taking any stuff from you except what you drop. Uh, right, you know what? Let's switch out so that we're not crazy. Go through this door. Ah, and there's the sifter. Yes, I do. Trade. Ah, we don't have enough big bones for the starry honey wine. I don't know if that'll be important later, and I do want to pick it up. Malonus diamond. Right, we are going to pick that up. Fragment of the Creed. Oh, I see. I thought this was a. Mysterious envelope. Uh, I think this, the mysterious envelope, is what we need for later on in the level. So we're going to take it. And I think that should almost do it. <laughs> simple yep, that's me, Mr. Simple. Alright, so now we have this part opened up. Uh, oh, right. There you go. I'm sure there's going to be another one of you over here. Here. We have a knight who. who needs to be dealt with. And there he goes. Uh, let's take a heal for good measure. And this door. Can this door be opened? Of course it can't. Because why would anything be simple in this game? All right. Uh, and we can't even go this way now, can we? Nope. <laughs> you kidding me, right? <laughs> All right. At least that tells us, you know, we only need to go one way, and that is the way we came. Oh, no, we have a ladder. area gets very expansive very quickly. Uh, almost to the point where I can't even remember where I need to go and what I need to do. But we'll try here first. Alright, this is the only way to pick up that item. Oh, no, no. You know. Potion. So that just sort of leads us back to that central chamber, and we'll go back there in a minute. Uh, right now we have this fellow. Are you here because of this platinum smell? You don't look like a demiurge. But if you're just curious enough, then tell me the code. Let me know your hatred towards Blessed Land. And so he requires a code, and because I'm smarter than to question code or not to answer at all. Uh, this is what we needed the mysterious letter for. Uh, <laughs> share the joy with us. Uh, so actually, let's carry on because I think there should be another altar soon. There's 
not, we'll find out. Uh, but this area is, is, has all these Demiurge in it, and because you said the code, as long as you don't attack them, they won't do, they won't attack you, at least while in this area. Uh, all other areas, unfortunately, are pretty much, uh, uh, hands, hands off. Uh, I thought there was something up here. I may have forgotten what it is. No matter, no nothing. Okay. Maybe I'm mistooken. Let's carry on. something this way. So let's grab it. Ancient silver key times two. And I don't know if that is for the pillars, but let's see if it is. Uh, and we can get this door open. But this is going to start leading into some very hairy areas. Uh, so this newsletter, because we have some big baddies uh, that are just over yonder. Uh, so let's see about going down. Pick up some treasure along the way. Crystal. Yeah, we have another one of those big priests standing in front of this tower and you know, not in the best shape to start messing with him. Uh, I do want to see if I can just look past him this way. And... down here to see if there's anything, but Blaine couldn't have picked a more un opportune time to start loading me with exposition when uh, getting into a boss fight I can't win and <laughs> being shot from above. Uh, but we have these caverns. Right. More Demiurge. Let us back to this area, right? We couldn't, we didn't get that door before. Uh, okay. Um, so we're still, I think that's another. You know what? <laughs> this is already going to be a pretty long level to begin with, so let's just push forward. Because losing to Alina actually did us a favor by getting us full health and full sanity again. The same can be said for Terence, so... So let's...
let's see. We got these doors. Please don't. Please seek shelter from the Prox in the Trinity Hall. There's no point in staying here. There's no point, but I'm gonna do it anyway. because I think these doors will hold the keys to the towers that we need. You won't find anything useful to you. No, I'm sure you're right. Open the door. Stop. Don't open it. Oh, I'll open it all right. Now, mind you, <laughs> some of them have these guys in there. But it's not like we haven't face them before. We already opened that door. So yeah, if they're going to hold the keys, then we need to... Nothing. Oh, come on. I fully executed him there. Oh, well. He's dead anyway. Keys down. Three keys down. Pick up this piece of literature. Short letter. all four keys for the pillars now and what's through here hopefully a way out of here and we got a pathway here Pathway that leads us to an item. So might as well grab it while we're here. Because it'll be useful for us. Uh, okay, up the stairs. little carriage and it seems pretty safe to us. Don't you think it's strange? This place is protected by the eternal light of the pillars, but now it is too weak to resist the invasion of the Sandros. That's right, so just give up. Is it because of the curse of the Martian Witch? Is it? Everyone in Brasiland thinks so. 
But the power of the holy pillars started to fade more than ten years ago. I, a blind man, was the only one to notice the difference. Everyone else was confused by the illusion spread by the church. The damn church. I want to find the truth, but look at me. <laughs> Searching for it is like asking for death. Mm -hmm. Courier, I can sense that you have doubts about what happened here. If you investigate the four pillars for me, maybe we can both find the answers we are looking for. It may be. I will accept your proposal, Mr. Blind Man. Hmm. <laughs> I really like you, Courier. I will wait for you at the Chamber of the Trinity Hall. That place is relatively safe. Bring what you find, and I will trade you for some old stories. Do you like me, or do you really like me? Alright, and now we have the quest to investigate the four holy pillars, which I believe we can do, having the four keys for the holy pillars. Let's take this up. Hopefully it takes us somewhere close to a save point. Ah, shortcut. Think. What do we got here? Ah, that's why I couldn't find the ladder, because I hadn't kicked it down yet. Haha. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, that just goes back into the Demiurge's camp. Uh, okay, so going this way is death. And coming up here, I would imagine is death as well. Fragments, thank you. Uh, <laughs> it's a little costly for these hedges, but at least we haven't been uh, getting them, getting them turning up their big noses at us. So another black dominator crystal. Sorry, <laughs> different item. Uh, and I can't remember if there was another shortcut around this area. That's where I came up from. Okay, got it. So here... There's a sword-shaped groove in the statue enshrining the Divine Sword. So... <laughs> when I first played this, so this is sort of the shrine for the Divine Sword, but if you take it and then try and complete the um, the mission where you're sparing the Demiurge from turning into a Sendril, um, it is actually not the, the, the Divine Sword. It's something else entirely. <laughs> so for now, we'll leave it be. Uh, there is a way to get the Divine Sword, and I will go for that probably in the next episode, uh, but it will be also related to the four, the four divine, or the four pillars. Uh, and we got some, we got some baddies to go here. Nope. <laughs> Making things not easy on me. rather than get uh, a bunch of people.
Oh. <laughs> As I was saying, uh, rather than get everybody stacked up and against me, uh, let's see if we can find where we need to be here. This seems like one of the pillars. See if we can get it open without getting those two angry at us. And we can. Alright, at least we get one of these out of the way while we're sort of trying to wrap things up here. This fragment seems to be what made the holy pillar so weak. Who could have possibly put it here? I don't know, but we'll certainly take it. step because uh, we're pretty high up. I think this leads us right back to the beginning of the level. No, nope, leads us to a chest. <laughs> Don't drop off there. Okay. Just want to make sure. Yeah, there's nothing for us further. So we'll head up, since we've grabbed that now, and we'll go off to the other side, because there should be yet another shortcut for us to uncover, and there it is. Uh, oh, <laughs> I thought that was something leading up, but it is not. Okay. This takes us back down here, which was along the lines of that first shortcut that we had. So, um, we've made some pretty good progress in the Blessed Land. Let's hit this altar, let's rest, and let's call it an episode because, um, like I said, things are looking a little bit good for us. Maybe not for that fellow that fell down, but, you know, we'll leave it be because, you know, we're in the middle of this mess and we're just trying to get out of here alive. So, I'll call it here for this episode and we'll pick it up in the next as we continue to unravel the mysteries behind the Blessed Land and catch up with our wife before chaos ensues. If you enjoyed this episode and the series, make sure you hit that like button, leave me a comment, or subscribe to my channel for more Pascal's Wager. Coming soon. This has been Shen Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye bye.